Okay, she's not a rapper. She is a movement, and she is here right now in the flesh. Neelam Hakeem, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here, girl. The pleasure is all mine. First of all, I got to thank you for just giving me a chance to chat with you because an artist like me who's not usually pushed to the forefront, and I'm, you know, different in this female rap game, yeah. it's really appreciated to for someone like you to give me a possibility to get more reach to people, and I really appreciate you. Of course, girl, you got a message. A lot <laughs> of messages that a lot of people need to hear, and I feel like we're in a space and in a time where, you know, we have to be intentional about everything that we do. Come on now. Fact. All of the energy that we're taking in, and I feel like this pandemic is really what got people to realize that. So mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. fact that, you know, we're being introduced to you and this the music that you're doing, I mm -hmm. think it's really important. Thank you. you that know? means everything to me, seriously. Yes. yes, and that is why you're here today, to talk about the EP, <laughs> yes. to talk about your upbringing, everything. I want to know everything, okay? <laughs> yes, so, yeah. L.A., yes. you're coming from L.A., you're here in town right now, you're mm -hmm. pushing a project. Yes. Anomalous. We're yes. deviating from the standard, right? Come on. Hello. Yes. Come on with Hello. the definition. I read yes. my dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's really important to, you know, stand in your authenticity and don't care about what's trending, just being you regardless. Right. And that's what I'm doing with this project and just in my beingness. So... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, before we jump into the music and just the messages that you're always pushing forth, not only through music, but just through social media, what you stand for as a woman, right. you know, what was your first recollection of that in music? Because that's not a lot of what we hear from women in hip hop, you know, sometimes. Right. But then we have greats like Lauryn Hill mm -hmm. and things of that nature who kind of push that that narrative, that, you know, consciousness. So right, right. who were some of your inspirations that made you feel like, oh, yeah, that's um, it right there? <laughs> I mean, Lauryn Hill is a, definitely a major influence for me. Yeah. Um, you know, just her just her beingness it's just everything and then you know like honestly like Erica Badu yes. like she was the first one to, like they made a genre for her that wasn't even a, you know that like neo, neo afro style, yeah. it wasn't there and it's like here comes uh Erica Badu D'Angelo and you know they just started making their way right. even like Kanye too you know uh hip-hop especially you know in LA where I'm from it's like even just by the way we dress it was right. like he came in with his little backpacking yeah. and it's like oh i'm the being me I, I don't care what's the in i'm gonna be me and right. i'm always inspired by those people who just come in and don't give a damn about what's going on right you know? so. it's hard because there's so much influence coming at us from Facts. so many different ways the media the internet everything absolutely so to be able to like really step in who you are i think right. that it's such a sometimes a process for people and when yeah. i see that people like went through that process and they're just living in it it is so inspiring it's everything yeah, yeah. do you feel like you were kind of someone else before you became like you know this this woman who just sees her journey going a certain way or like you know was it a complete 180 switch for you um, like were you out in the streets before and the little like i don't know <laughs> well um i would just say before i was way more fearful mm. of being you know or yourself. being able to be the only one in the room like yourself yeah you know naturally the influence and everything you just you know you want to fit in so right. being okay with standing out and that being your superpower I embodied that over time. Right. And that was a process, you know. And even just like, you know, I remember putting out my first rap piece. I was so scared because I'm like, what are people going to think? And da, 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 And I've never done this before. Yeah. But then to get the reaction and, you know, to have Erica Badu and Will Smith and Diddy and everybody post it, it was like, whoa, that fear that I was embodying was false evidence appearing real. And mm. when you get over that, you realize you could do anything, you know. Anything. So, yeah. yeah, the world is yours. Yes. And you're literally doing it and yeah. speaking your truth through the music, which right, is really right. cool. We've seen you in the BET Cypher. Yes, and yes. you were also around, you know, like-minded individuals who yes. were also spitting that. They was talking that talk. Yes, facts, facts. Talking that talk. Yeah. Now, you mentioned a lot of, like, you know, how it is for women in hip hop and you know mm -hmm. how it can be degrading with the music and all of that and it's kind of we're conditioned right girl come if on you turn back that ass up i might get up and start okay period. i get it period period <laughs> i get 
get it. I get it. And, you know, coming in a space where that is majority of the sound, right. you know, how does it feel for you to kind of, you know, be doing the opposite? I know you even said, I think it was in a freestyle where you said hip, the music industry don't like me because I don't swear. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I just feel like we're just in need of a balance. Right. You know, because women are so dynamic. We mm. are multifaceted. So to only kind of be pushed one type of woman, right. I just feel like that's that's not even logical. Right. You know, we are, shoot, I got a million moods in a day, you know? So just to be able to, um, you know, like back in the day, I was able to listen to Lil' Kim and Lauren Hill and get tired of both of those songs on the radio. But yeah. now it's like, you know, I'm just I just feel like in the forefront we're only getting pushed one type of dynamic. Yeah. And I'm just saying, just more balance. I just feel like that would be dope, you right. know? And um that's what I push for. And I feel like, you know, we know that it's a time of representation and inclusion and blah blah blah. But, you know, it's a fact that you can't be what you don't see. Right. So yeah. I just wanna be that, you yeah. know? So yeah. that people can know that they can also be that and show Absolutely. that side of them. Absolutely. Yeah. And as a black Muslim woman, you know, like, you know, you don't really see like us in like, I don't know, fields like this. So to be you able don't. to, you know, just step out and be like, hey, I got a voice. I just feel like it's very important. Yeah, that is actually where I was going to go with it next. <laughs> you know, you're a black Muslim woman. You're in hijab, you yeah. know. You're you're going through a mission right. too religiously, right? And what was that feedback like from your family too, where they see you're stepping into this space where it's not that? Right. So is right. it like go ahead, girl, push that message forward, or is it like no, come back here? Right. Well, you know, the uh, when I talked about how I had a lot of fear, I was fearful of like how will the Muslim community feel about that? Will they be like, girl, what are you doing? And it has been such a pleasant surprise, mm. not just from the Muslim community, but just people from all walks of life, how they have received me. It's, it really fills me with gratitude. You know, I'm just like, wow, this is dope. Like, everybody's like, yeah, I'm with you. I rock with that, you yeah. know? And I just feel like in this time, people are so open to, you know, a little bit of everything. They just, I think the time for balance is now and everybody is receptive to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you most surprised to know your music, where you're like, oh my gosh, you know about me, you reposted my video. Um, <laughs> I mean, Will Smith was pretty random. Yeah, and that's I pretty was big. like, what? You right. know, like, my phone was blown up, I'm like, you're kidding me, you know? Right. Um, I mean, I've been to the Rock Nation brunch, and the people who, like, were coming up to me, I was like, what? You yeah. know, like, I people that I really admire, and they're just like, keep going, sis. Oh, you, and I'm just like, what? You, me? oh, for real? Like, right. I'm always surprised. Prize. Marquise is like, my husband is always like, girl, people know of you. But I'm just really still always surprised when I come across someone that I really admire. And they're like, hey. Yeah. You, and I'm just like, wow, thank you. You yeah. know, so, you know, that's also motivation to just keep going. Yeah. Know? And I think it's because you're bringing forth a message that, you know, is not heard a lot on mm -hmm. major platforms. So right. it's like, oh, yeah, girl, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that's I mean? Just, yeah. I, that's really makes me grateful <laughs> yeah and that's the beauty in all of it yeah now with everything that's been happening with like you know with work how did label connections and you know it turn into okay this is now something that i'm working right in. right like, yeah it's that, my job right <laughs> that's funny it's like when you switch to like oh i don't do no other job but this. yeah this like is this my is job. not my side hustle this is what i do absolutely yeah mm -hmm. that yeah that's crazy talk um, to me about that transition you know, I met um, Law from Rock Nation. Okay. Or Jay Electronica was also really instrumental because he like connected that, and that's how I even got like involved with Rock Nation. And um, yeah, we getting with them and being able to utilize their resources and mm -hmm. just like you know keep pushing and you know meeting people like Brian and yeah. you know like um, I don't know. I just feel like by God's grace, like the people who could do things and make you go forward just started coming right. and you know then we just followed that path you know we're grinding every day because you know being independent is hard of course and if you don't fit the mold, mold naturally you're building your own uh lane right and that's hard you right. know and 
But when your mission is on just being you and, you know, just fighting for representation, you don't mind, like, what they say, like, taking the stairs up, even though people are taking the elevator up. Yeah. Because you are, you know, just focus on your goal. Yeah. And so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. And even with that, I think a lot of people are leaning more towards being independent and kind of staying in that lane right. and just having like, you know, labels step in for distribution and things of that right. nature. Right. So where do you see it going? Do you want to stay where you are and kind of just build it and pack it all of that? Because I know, I know that's the best way. But yes, also having those resources too and having like, you know, someone really push you right. also helps. So yeah. where do you stand? I just want to find a balance in between that where I can still be me, no one's in control of my creative right. or, you know, trying to change me, you know, because that to me is most important. But to be able to have resources that can um, give me more reach, yes, naturally I would want that, you know. And But you just want what's best for you and whatever that entails. If I find an opportunity that's right with, you know, what I believe in, then we good, you yeah. know. But, um regardless i'm gonna keep moving right. you know and that's just pretty much it <laughs> and you're always gonna do what feels right to you exactly yeah and i think that's the great part about the space that you're in just in right. your life in general because no one can kind of steer you in a direction that, that. you're not willing to go in right you know right, right. and that's important to be yeah. able to make those decisions clearly on your own without having other minds infiltrate on that. So I Facts. think the space that you're in, you can only go up from here, you know? God willing. <laughs> yes, of course. Inshallah. Hello. Inshallah. <laughs> yes. Now, you're also a mom. Yes. How has motherhood changed you? Because your baby girl is not a baby. Oh, anymore. I know. <laughs> yes. Um, you know what? It's, I mean, yeah, You being in charge of humans is like, a lot, what the heck? I can imagine. Am I really right? <laughs> you know, and then, you know, my son, he um, he's on the spectrum for autism. Wow. And that changed, like, me and my husband's whole dynamic because we had to learn how to, how do you say it? Like, teach in the, the way that you learn instead yeah. of being in the, you know, in the box. and using yeah, what or you got to learn yeah, like yeah. this. Uh, how did Einstein say it? He's like, you know... A fish can't climb a tree and a elephant can't I, I forget how it goes. Right. Exactly. Then of course stupid. Exactly. exactly. Yes. yes. And that that has been a huge thing because come come to find out he's a little genius. Yeah. But he learns course. differently. Yeah. And it was just that that really changed our life. But it's been a beautiful journey, um, just dealing with that. You right. know, something that, you know, when he was diagnosed, it was just like, oh, but you don't know you when you seek knowledge and deal with other you you don't realize how many people are going through that and then you learn from other parents yeah. and it's just a real beautiful thing but yeah that has been a crazy journey yeah in totality it's a blessing you yes. learn how to be more dynamic and Come how on. to unlearn the things that we were taught right 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 and cater to the people that you love and others who are going through this absolutely absolutely yeah, yeah. it's been <sighs> really a teaching moment yeah how is that meshing in with your career you know what me and my husband are a team yeah so and we got a it, it that fact is facts it takes a village but we got you know people who believe in us and right. ride with us right now my children are with his mom and she's holding it down and you know having that um and us being a village and going towards the same goal it mm. makes everything much easier so right yeah that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now, mm -hmm. we're pushing the project, yes. Anomalous. My favorite joint on there is Choose, which you did hey. perform for Yara Shahidi. Yes. How yes. did she like it? She loved it. Yeah. Uh, she, first of all, she I love just... that song. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. And Olu, my did, Olu did what he, he had to do. He killed that, right? Olu did what he had to do on Period. that. Period. <laughs> yes. And he, he wrote that verse right after uh, King Vaughn died. That's why he mentioned that. And then just a story about him and his brother. It was just like... That really touched me. And honestly, he, I had sent him that track. I didn't mm -hmm. even have a verse to that yet. Right. When I heard his, I, I immediately, my verse came right after him because I'm like, you inspired the direction of this. And I was like, no, we got to choose. And you know how uh, in the end when he says a part of the problem are you the solution? Right. Are you the oppressor of the revolution? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I got to repeat that. And so, yeah, it, 
Thank you. I'm so glad you like shoes. Girl, yeah. that is the one. Yes. Olu did what he had to do. We were yes. listening to it literally right before you came hey. in. And Borleon was like, wait, hold on. Who? <laughs> Olu? Dope. So, Dope. Yes. Yeah, we love that one. And I saw that you performed it for Yara, which was beautiful. Thank you. Now, what's your favorite joint on the project? You got six joints on there. Yeah. Uh, what made you go with six? Um, you know what? There was no reason. It was okay. just like, we done. We got it. This is cool for EP. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, wind it all up. I'm like, this is good. You know, yeah. I, have nev- I haven't done like a debut album yet, but I just always want to keep feeding my following with music. So like, this is my third EP. Yeah. And um yeah, I just felt complete with it. I'm like, this is good. My favorite mm. Ew, is that a hard one for you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like Fade Away. I like the uh just Mike Young and Zodi. I just yeah. love their voices on it. And then, you know, I spoke on the things with my mother and just, you know, depression and blah blah blah. It's personal. Yes. I love we got them light cuz it's just I was talking that talk like I said uh that funny thing, the music industry hates me because I'll never twerk. I don't know. I just like the energy in that one. And yeah. Donique and Golden Child. I just, what is my favorite? You know what? All of them. Yeah, I really do <laughs> like it. Because sound, when I listen to Sound That I Need, that's when I'm just like trying to zen out and meditate. And then, you know, We Are Free, the messenger. Well, you know what? I love We Are Free, the video, like that, the subliminal messages and that. I just, Yeah, the creative I, direction. Behind your videos. That, Who? My husband, Marquise. Yes. Like, he... Shout out to him. And shout, shout out to Chris Berry for shooting it. But, <laughs> yeah, I just... That's been... I've been loving the feedback from that, having people message me and decoding it. So it was about Yes. This. It's been so fun listening to people break down, like, oh, so when that happened, this happened. This. Yeah. So, and I was worried. I was like, I hope a lot of this don't go over people's head. But the fact that everybody, no, we woke. We saw it. We understand what this is about. And I just... That was really uh that was just fun to me yeah. that was a moment yes. yes yes we see it we love it i appreciate what are some you plans for the future like where do you see you taking this you know what i just hopefully if i could like put a foot in this music industry and bring um you know more of a balance and a difference into like the mainstream you know just if we can have more Dynamics right. and female hip hop. If I could make a foot in that, that I would be overjoyed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, just to show people that there's many sides of women, and you know, to just have more of a, I don't know, a foot in this game, that would be awesome. To me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're in the process. You're doing it. Yes. I'm okay. Keep going. So the foot <laughs> is in. You are here, and I'm sure you are here to stay because you have a lot. Of messages that we need to hear, girl. I appreciate the inspiration, you, I know. <laughs> so thank you for being here. No, and I'm sure you. that, you know, <laughs> your fans and everybody who's tapped in, they are so appreciative of the yeah. voice that you've been using thank to you. really push forth. Okay, Neelam? Keep it going, girl. <laughs> I will. God willing, I'm I ain't gonna stop. Yes. Yes. It's hot ninety seven.